So far in this series, we've gone over how to balance your flash with ambient scene that might not be daylight white balance, and we've also talked about balancing with tint issues such as green or magenta cast. In this video, I wanna talk about inverting your white balance so that you can actually change the color of flashes that aren't gelled. All right, so now we're going to do something a little bit more complex with a color correction gel. As you guys saw in the previous video, a color correction gel is great for matching the temperature of your flash to some type of ambient color. So typically a color correction gel is used to balance the color of your flash with the color of an ambient environment. But you can also use color correct gels creatively to adjust colors to some degree. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happens when I put a CTO gel on a daylight balance flash, but I use other flashes without any gels. So I've got an 8200 in this big soft box right here, and that's going to be acting as our key light. And then I've got two hair lights, which are both 8600 Pros. Now, right now, none of these lights have any type of gel on them. All right, let's try this. So the result is we have hair lights on both sides of our subject. So she is carved out from the background really well. And then we have our key light is illuminating her face and giving us that loop lighting on the face. Now we're gonna dramatically alter the image with just this one little CTO gel. So I'm gonna take this CTO gel, I'm gonna put it on the 8200 bulb inside the softbox. So one of the things that happens with correction gels is they cut a little bit of your light output. So first thing I'm gonna do is increase the power of my 8200 by one stop to compensate for the light loss by putting that gel on. Now I'm not gonna make any adjustments to my camera just yet. I want you to see the color if we just left everything at typical daylight color balance. So you can see that our subject now has an extremely warm color cast on her skin, which this isn't the exact look that I'm going for, but it's giving me the imbalance that I need to make what I want to happen possible. And what I want to happen is for my rear lights to be blue without actually gelling them blue. So now I'm going to bring the Kelvin temperature of my camera down from 5500 all the way down to 3200. So now my CTO gel will balance properly with her skin and her skin will be its natural authentic color, but my background lights are going to get very blue. So you can see the final result is without gelling our background lights blue, we can still get that effect by making our key light that is on the front of the subject very warm. And by compensating in camera, making the camera down to 3200 so that it balances with that front light, now our back lights take on a blue characteristic with no gel. Thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. I really hope that you learned something new about flash photography. I suggest going and practicing the concepts that you just learned, but if you feel that you've already got a good grasp on it, then go ahead and proceed to the next video, which you can find in the end screen or in the description below. If you're enjoying my channel and you want to see more, then please hit that subscribe button and click the bell if you'd like notifications for when I post new videos. Until next time, keep on shooting.